huge group of our friends here so we're kind of just exploring the whole event together. Right now we're kind of like right in the middle of Black Rock City. We're at four o'clock in F and you can kind of see what's around us. There's a camping or a orgy bus kissing booth. There's, um, there's like a carnival tent over there where you can get free home. As you can see it's pretty dusty here. When the wind picks up all this dust gets blown into the air and sails through the air. Sometimes you can't even see the sky it's just all gray. Um, this year has been a lot crazier weather-wise than before. We've been having dust storms almost every single day, so we're like biking through the dust where you can only see like five feet in front of you. You still keep moving, but and you're just kind of hoping like, oh, I hope a car doesn't just come out of the dust. I hope a bike just doesn't come at rain angles to me. Um, but it just kind of adds to the fun. Like you go to a party and everyone is just dressed in crazy outfits, wearing goggles and dust masks, and it's just like, it's like the most extreme party ever. <laughs> Let's have the craziest party ever in like one of the least hospitable environments ever. Yes, that's a great idea. So, that's what Burning Man is. <laughs> um, there's actually freezing cold last night. They said it was like the coldest night they've ever had at Burning Man before, I think. And um, it was minus, um, it was like one degree or something like that. So, anyway, um, last year we didn't have that. We didn't have the temperature extremes like that. But it's been super, super fun. Um, We've, we have a huge group of our friends here this time, so we're all kind of going out and exploring the event together, and um, it's amazing. As usual, the playa was covered in art installations. Here is a friend of ours in a beautiful mirror box which is located directly underneath the man. Here is a beautiful Hindu temple which was burned in a fiery tribute to Kali, the goddess of destruction and rebirth. Everyone at Burning Man lights themselves up and is out to have fun and make some new friends. Further along, we came to an immense aardvark shooting fire while people watched another large-scale burn nearby. Wherever you go, you're almost guaranteed to come across amazing sculptures, illuminated sound stages, and epic large-scale installation pieces. A little while later, we ran into an old friend from last year wearing his amazing LED suit. He said that he had a flight to catch, but it looked like the airplane had actually come to catch him. Whatever, we danced on the runway amid all the marker lights until the sun came up. Another amazing piece of art was the giant steel mesh woman standing over 50 feet high. Burning Man has almost everything. Fire, dancers and jugglers, over a thousand art cars, over a thousand art camps, amazing sound stages, amazing mobile sound camps scattered across the desert, but really it's the people that are the main attraction. Burning Man is seven days of uninhibited self-expression, collective celebration, dancing, art, and fun. It is brought to us by an amazing crew of dedicated people working extremely hard under adverse environmental conditions, to say the least. I would like to thank them all for making this event possible and for bringing this amazing collective of self-expression into our lives. Each and every year is different, and the amount of creativity put into each manifestation of the Burning Man Festival is really awe-inspiring. This year's Burning Man featured the Carnival of Mirrors as the theme, with a sideshow midway near the man himself, a maze below him, and the temple of self-expression between his feet. Day and night, the festivities continue. It's impossible to see it all, so it's sometimes just best to relax and enjoy wherever you are, even if it's in the middle of a dust storm, which are actually pretty fun. I highly recommend you guys check out Burning Man. There's lots of other amazing Burning Man videos on the internet. 
um, and maybe I'll see you here next year. There's also lots of regional events um, all around, um, in all around the world actually. Uh, they're just like little mini versions of Burning Man, so I highly recommend checking those out too if they're in your area, because it's such an incredible experience. All the people are so friendly, and you can just kind of be who you are and do whatever you want. It's, it's amazing.